Dolls was kind of the root of uh, the root of my horror obsession, where uh, it was really fed by trips to the old mom and pop's video stores back in the day. That was really the only place where I could I could fuel and feed that obsession, that that interest, so to speak. Yeah, they were well, so much better than the blockbusters and anything else. Just the independent type stores had had everything, you know. Well, definitely, because you could walk down the aisles, and there you had all the covers. And this was back when the cover art and the poster art was an actual art form, where they tried to mm-hmm. tell you the story on the cover of, of the VHS. They, they weren't just trying to tell you about the actors that were in it. They were trying to show you something horrifying and terrifying to make you actually want to see the movie itself. So I fed, I fed that interest there and also at Walden's Books reading Fangoria's or just mm-hmm. flipping through and looking at the pictures. And also, if I, ha- I had a- all my best friends had cable, so I would go over. And when they would fall asleep, I would still be up watching Showtime or something. And, you know, Happy Birthday to Me would be playing. Or, you know, Chuck Norris and Silent Rage would be playing, which is like the all-time greatest uh, combination slasher karate movie ever made. What about They're... The Hero and the Monster? I thought that was pretty good. The Hero and the Terror, yes. But that's years, years later, though. That's in, that's in like 89 or 90 or something, but... But Silent Rage was really, really early on. So, the horror obsession, yeah. I, uh, you know, in growing up in the '80s era, we would always hear about Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees, and the kids at school would actually literally talk about it the next day. They would talk about all the movies and how terrifying they were, and, and you know how how horrifying what what happened in them. And because I was never able to see them, I would actually just create them in my mind. And the, the movies in my mind were worse than anything that would ever come on the screen. Speaking of, of, of uh, Freddy Krueger and horror and school, Did we see- Todd and I actually were the authors of the one and only horror show ever to show at, 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 oh. in the auditorium at uh, South Stanley High School. I can't To this day, I can't believe they let us do it. Actually, they, they didn't let anybody else do it. After, a few years they even had yeah, we did, the drama. We did, we did a live uh, uh, throat slash, a Freddy Krueger, vampire chicks, live gags where like we had the we cut a guy's arm off on stage. We had like these gigs all rigged up to work. That's pretty for ambitious. A, a live audience, yeah, yeah. Too bad we don't have. You didn't video. We that, didn't have did we didn't have a video camera at that no. time. No, we absolutely did not. Uh, and, and in true Todd fashion, he showed up about uh, an hour into it with the Freddy Krueger guy. <laughs> you know, we but they they let us out of class. Who was Freddy Krueger? We uh, uh, a mutual guy named Scott friend. Toomey. Yeah, he did a really good job of he used it to too. Live up the road. Yeah, he could do a really good version of the voice. Todd did the old uh, latex and uh, paper towel build up method. And it looked amazing. I didn't take any skills of that. Did we even have cameras? I mean, like, probably uh, not. Then we didn't have digital cameras, that's for sure. Um, yeah, that was. I do have stills of Neil with the foam latex process that I need to scan and post. People went crazy. Uh, I mean, we had a major production with like no budget, but they they did let us out of, out of class quite a bit, and we got to use our drama time, uh, our drama class time for like a week or so leading up to it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the people in the front row got blood on them. People, kids were going nuts. Uh, scary. We had um, the vampire chicks coming from the back. <laughs> they were going to, nuts. To, 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 uh, to <laughs> hell's, hell's bells. Freddie was, um, you know, our Freddie character was the host, and he would walk around and uh, tease the audience yeah, in between, in between our setups. setups. We had, yeah. it like we had to move stuff on and off the stage. And it seemed to work really well. I think you guys should make well. this a film. You know, make a film about Man, kids you know, in school doing uh, that in an auditorium. I, I'm just, I, I, it couldn't have been more than an hour long, but uh, but we showed it to the entire school. It, that was that was incredible. Did, um, did we see the story. original Elm Street at the theater? Do you remember? Yes, I think we did, yeah. I think we did. We definitely did. Eastgate Cinema. 